think there's a growing chorus against the remarks on Prophet Muhammad made by two BJP leaders. 15 Islamic nations have now condemned the statements, while the opposition at home has hit out at the ruling party, claiming they've embarrassed the country. In fact, Parmeshwar, the recent to be added to this list is Iraq, uh, and that's the la uh, latest country to condemn these comments by BJP leaders. And top officials tried to manage the diplomatic fallout as nations including Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Oman, the UAE, Iran, Iraq, Libya and Turkey have demanded an apology from the government for allowing the derogatory remarks. This, even as Prime Minister Narendra Modi in recent years, has strengthened economic ties with the energy-rich nations, the top source of countries' fuel imports and that's what makes Gulf countries really important for our diplomatic ties. Right, also Priyanshi, let's take our viewers through why the Gulf matters to India so much. Well, over 6.5 million Indians live and work in the Gulf countries, where Qatar is actually one of the largest suppliers of gas to India. Meanwhile, close to 40% of India's gas supplies actually come from Qatar. And we also have very strong trade relations with many of these Gulf countries. In fact, if we take you through the numbers, in 2021 to 22, India's trade, uh, in 2020 to 21, I beg your pardon, India's trade with the GCC countries or the Gulf Cooperation Council countries was over $87 billion. Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Qatar, Oman, Kuwait and the UAE make up the GCC. In 2020-21, India GCC trade grew by 27% from the previous year. So this puts in context why these comments coming in from these countries are important and concerning for India.